Welcome back to the big board. So, having a look at the battle for Stalingrad. And uh, we have had a reaction phase. I, I made a little mistake with reactions and how they work, but we managed to correct all that without uh, foobarring the game beyond all recognition. Over on the left-hand side of the screen, we're now rotated back to the German uh, gameplay. And the Germans have moved uh, some of these chaps here, which uh, did not enter any zones of control or anything like that, so it didn't generate any uh, Soviet reactions. And what they've actually been able to do now is put all of these units out of supply. So we would, if there were militia units in here that were not stacked with another unit, ooh, that guy needs to be clipped, uh, we would eliminate them. And all of these other dudes, they cannot move. The combat uh, factor is halved and it's just all around bad, right? Now you may say, well, why can't they, why can't they uh, run supply out through these divisional setup areas? Well, you can, as long as there's not an enemy unit in one of those uh, setup areas. And so I've left uh, one unit plus, plus an artillery piece. In fact, I could actually move that guy if I wanted to. Uh, <clears throat> let's try and uh, make it not too gamey. I've left one uh, combat unit, not artillery unit, in there. And I don't think the game makes a distinction about those, but I, I am. Uh, and then I thought, well, heck, let's bring some of the 16th Panzer units up and let's just start rolling these guys up and wipe them out and let's get rid of uh, a bunch of units. Otherwise, these fellas will stay out of supply and it does nothing, it doesn't eliminate them. Let me just see about isolation real quickly. I don't think isolation is going to make any difference. So we, we are going to need to physically kill these units over the course of the next couple of turns. And so I thought this might be an expedient way to do this would be to overrun them. And despite the fact that my attack strength here would be halved, I have 18. <coughs> Halved is going to be nine, and we're going to, these guys are going to defend with a one because they're halved as well. I rolled a, a four, and on the one column that's nothing, and these guys uh, rolled a six, which kills one step, and so we would kill that unit. Now, because we had a, 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 a reaction, reactionable event, we can pull two chits, I'm supposed to pull two chits while a hill over in that direction is occupied by Soviet units. <clears throat> Which means the next time I played this game, I would, first thing I would probably do is try and bombard that so that in turn one, there's not any... That's fortified, I think, though. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, uh, regardless, uh, I would probably try and eliminate any units that were in that hex so that the, there's only one chip pulled for uh, the Soviets. So they get a reaction. And the reaction is simply, I roll a die, and uh, they're going to get five stacks can move or react. And that will allow them, I'm going to take these off the board now. Um, that will allow the Soviets to move five stacks of units, plus anything that's within two hexes of the leader unit, Churkov or whatever his name is. So we killed, we killed this one. I, I was at uh, about eight and a half movement points, but I guess that guy is now done because we have a reaction. So I was hoping now to, you know, to kind of make two or three more attacks, but that's not gonna happen. So these guys will all stay until the end of turn two. So now we'll move to the Soviets. They're gonna move some forces. We're gonna try and negate a zone of control here. I think that will put us back in supply. That is something I will need to check also. Let me just put these over here. So for instance, I believe, you know what? Let me just pause and check that. So that is indeed correct. If I negate, I would have to negate, find the right spot to negate the hexes, but I have to negate one, two, three, four, well, three hexes. Um, so I'm not gonna get that done this turn for them. Hmm, maybe we could try over here. Uh, problematic, right? Well, there may be not for, much for it for all these chaps. I 
feel like I want to move this guy over to here into these woods. So we should do that. That's one. I'll flip him over. And push this guy up here and flip him over. That's two. How many did I say I had? Four or five, I believe. And I really want to, you know, uh, hmm, getting guys out of the open is always good. So we'll pop these guys one over the far side. Put them in some better terrain. Actually, yeah, that is better terrain there. Push these dudes up into the woods. Three. Those guys moved last time and I forgot to flip them. And four, that chappy. You know what, we'll make a stack of these guys here and flip one of them. That's five there. There we go. All right. Okay, so now we'll right, rotate back to the Germans move and we'll, uh, we'll continue with the rest of the 16th Panzer. Thought I'd share a little bit of that with you. And uh, <clears throat> I may uh, crank up a video in a little bit and have a, a quick conversation about uh, what we're covering and how we're covering it. And, uh, and just get some, be looking for some feedback from you. Talk to you soon.